Some drawings can have many, many layers. NanoCAD helps you out by creating layer groups, layer filters, and layer states. Let's see how layer filters work. Now I've clicked all here and so that means that the layer dialog box shows all layers. And if you look down here you'll say all means 127 layers. Now one filter always occurs in a NanoCAD drawing and that's called all used layers. So I will click on that and now it's just the layers that have content on them, lines and so on. A layer that's used has this blue parallelogram. If you scroll through the list, you see only blue parallelograms. And at the bottom it says 72 layers displayed, meaning there's a whole number that are not displayed. Where are they? Well, if you click on Invert Filter, NanoCAD now shows you the opposite of all used layers, which is all unused layers. And you see down here that it's 55. And as you scroll through, all the layers displayed have the gray parallelogram meaning they have no content on them. Click on Add Filter, and a new filter with a generic name called Filter Zero is shown. I'm going to rename it to indicate what I want, and so it's going to be all the layer names that start with Pro, so I'll type in Pro. NanoCAD has already turned on the Edit Filter button, which is why all the layers seem to have disappeared. I'm going to right-click, Add row, click in there, and now type pro asterisk. And you know that asterisk means any text that appears after pro. Press enter to finish it. Turn off edit filter. And you see that the pro filter displays all layers that start with the letters pro. Switch back to all use layers and we see all of them again. Once again, if you have the pro layer filter turned on, I can click invert layer to see all other layers. I'm not limited to names of layers. I can also specify, say, all the ones that are on, all the ones that are frozen, locked, specific color, line type, line weight, transparency, and so on. The second method NanoCAD provides for controlling layers is called layer states. Now when I initially click on it, uh, there's nothing because I've not created any layer states. And down here you can see zero. So first thing to do is create a new one. So click this button and there's the default name, layer state zero. I'm going to rename it, call it default layer properties. And I create it so that I can go back to the way all the layers are set when I need to. Now to properly see how layer states work, let's create a second one. Click that again. And this time I'm gonna create a layer state that has all layers show colors in black only. So monochrome is the name I've given it. Select any layer and then press Control A. Control A selects all layers in the list. I choose any color swatch here. Choose white and notice all colors have changed to white for all the layers. Now I right click, click restore and over here in the drawing you see everything's turned black. The exception, the red and the blue and the gray, those are probably blocks set the colors independently of the layer. To go back to the default properties, select it, choose restore, and now all the colors are back again. A third way NanoCAD lets you control layers is through the use of groups. Groups essentially put together a, a subset of layers that you can then toggle on and off Click the Add Group button, and there's the default name, Group 0. I'm going to call this group TXT because I'm going to put together all the layers that start with TXT. Now you notice a new column appears. This plus sign is the Add column. And now I start clicking in that column next to the layers I want. I'm going to select all the layers with TXT that have something on them. It's not clear, but at this point you press Enter. When you come back into the layer dialog box, there's all the layers and there's the TXT layers. Now, what can you do with that? Well, one thing you can do is change the visibility of all the layers in this group. 
So I'll turn them off and you'll see some of the text turned off. The other text is either in blocks or on different layers that aren't prefixed with TXT.